Hello there. Long time no see. For some, it's been years, and for others, it's been months, but either way, a lot has changed. I just finished watching, well, I didn't just finish, but I recently watched Derek Delgadio's In and of Itself on Hulu. Um, and as he describes it, it's a theatrical existential crisis, and it is one of the most relatable pieces of art that I've seen in a very long time. I highly suggest that you go and check it out as well. During these times that have been shifting and changing, identity is something that a lot of people have had to cope with as they've lost their jobs and just their general basis of who they are has been swept from underneath their feet. For me, my world started shifting back in 2017 because I was not adjusting well to the new administration at that time. Let's just say that being queer, black, and female in the heart of the Bible Belt has never been easy, though I'm not here to necessarily complain, just to share. I've had my queer card and my black card taken from me on more than one occasion, which is a trip because I am the one who chooses how I identify, not someone outside of me. Again, you need to watch Derek Delgadio's in and of itself because it's brilliant and it talks about these, these exact things. I have what's called light skin privilege in this world and as a result of that I have made great strides and success in my career in life based on the fact that I appear more white. That's simply it. Um, token is another term for it when you're this solitary, you know, this, that little token. I watch South Park if you don't understand token. Um, but it's something that really started getting under my skin in 2017 and I stopped letting microaggressions slide because you hear them everywhere. When you're a minority, you hear microaggressions everywhere and you're constantly just letting it slide, letting it slide, letting it slide. But the reality is we're all human and a person can only take so much. For me, now, I want to share because I feel that sharing is caring and right now we can use a little more of it. And it's also the only way that we're going to be able to grow and be healed from the experiences and things that we've witnessed here in the last few months and few years. I'm not an actor, technically. However, I was raised by black women and grew up backstage. So I've learned how to act from a lot of great performers. And when I stepped out and started living my life in what is a real life version of Oklahoma, as far as I'm concerned, where the wind comes sweeping down the plains, I wound up in a lot of scenarios that I had then had to act my way out of. And they were very frustrating scenarios. They were very like frustrating. It doesn't even begin to describe these scenarios. But after those four years of racial and political unrest, I found peace. And I found peace during the process as well. And if you're wondering how one finds peace during a time like this, the answer is you have to choose it. So I'm going to share things that help me find peace and also experiences of my past to help educate and enlighten, for lack of a better word, people who may just be searching for an outlet to discuss these things because discussing them is the only way we're going to get past it. And again, watch Derek Delgadio's In and of Itself on YouTube, not YouTube, on Hulu.